Hello everyone, welcome back to the video and in today's video we are going to discuss 12th question that came in the recent Math Kangaroo 2024 paper for grades 7 and 8. And let's get started with our today's video. I hope you all are enjoying these series. If yes, don't forget to hit the like button below and I would love to hear your suggestions in the comments box if you have any doubts in any particular uh, Math Kangaroo exam. Uh, question right or any other doubt do let us know in the comments below so that we can help you out with the same all right so let's get started with our today's question so the question is justin can make a four by four square where the sum of the numbers in all four rows and all four columns is the same from the three pieces as shown and one additional piece which of the piece shown in the answer choices a through e is needed to complete his square so he is going to make a four by four square right he is definitely going to use these three pieces but one of the piece from these five options correct so let's make a four by four square first to understand this question better right so here I am having a 4 by 4 square. Now, if I see very carefully in the pictures which they have provided us, I can see one piece with four boxes in a line. Correct? That is the second piece. Right? So, for sure, second piece will lie over here. Two, one, three, one and one this is how the second piece will lie correct here we have used our second piece correct because it is four by four square so all the four rows or all the columns they are four in number correct so in the second piece as there were four pieces aligned very nicely one after another so we can assume that it will lie at the top correct now, if we are going to see, in the question they have provided us, the sum of numbers in all four rows and all four columns is the same. Okay. Now, if I will add this row, that is 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1. So, it will give us the answer as 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6 and 6 plus 1 is 7. Right. That means now all rows and all columns should add up to 7, right? Now let's see other two pieces as well. Now, as I look at the first piece, and if I'm going to look at this space, so I can easily keep the first piece over here, right? This is the first piece, this is the second piece, and this is the third piece. So I can put it over here. 2, 2, 1 and 2. Correct? Because we've needed 3 squares, right? 3 numbers to put in here. So we can easily put it over here. Now you can again check the sum of this column. So it will be 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2. Let's see if we are getting number 7 or not. 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, and 5 plus 2 is 7. So that means we are correct. So we are done with our first piece, we are done with our second piece. Let's try to arrange this third piece as well. So I can either keep over here, right? But this does not look good because in the options, we are having three squares in a line correct so that means we cannot put our third piece over here but we can definitely put it in this space two three one two so this is going to be our third piece now you can check again you can add up all the numbers in this row two plus two is four four plus two is six and six plus 1 is 7, right? And even you can check in the third row, 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 
plus 1 is 5 and 5 plus 2 is 7 again. So far we are good, doing good. Now, there are 5 options, right? Step number 1 can be, you can put in option A over here or option B over here, right? Or option C, option D, option E. Then you can check which one is the correct option. Otherwise, what you can do is, you can simply see all the rows and all the columns will add up to 7, right? So let's focus only on this column, right? This column. So over here, we know that in the end, it should add up to 7, correct? So what is 1 plus 2? 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus another 3 is 6. Now 6 plus what is 7? 6 plus 1 is 7, right? And from here, you can eliminate option B, option D, and option E because it is starting with number 2, right? That is wrong. We need only one. Now, let's check. Now, we are left with only option A or option C, right? Any of these can be correct. Now, let's check the second column. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. Now, 6 plus 1, what is 7? 6 plus 1 is 7. That means we can cross out option C as well. And we got our answer. That is option A. And you can check the last one as well. Let's do it. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. And 4 plus 3 is 7. That means we are correct. Hooray. So, we got our answer. That is option A. Right? And that is how we can form our 4 by 4 square. So, if I uh, show you the neat and clean version of 4 by 4 square, so this is how it is going to look like. Let's quickly erase this, right? So that it's better to understand for you and you can even take the screenshot and try this problem again. Okay, so we can put it over here. 2, 1, 3, 1, 1. And then 2, 3, 1, 2. 2, 1, 2, 2. And then 1, 1, 3. Now you can try checking any of the rows, any of the columns, every row and every column will add up to 7. Okay. So that is it. We are done with our today's question. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit the like button below. I wish you all the best for your exams, right? And we'll be meeting you soon in the next video. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.